Welcome to Belgium. And Belgium, we are known for French fries. Belgians. Belgian chocolate. Congolese hands. As the Belgians, we are a weak, tiny, minor nation located between the UK, the French, the Germans, and the Dutch. Uh, if we were the Dutch, this would be a better position, but unfortunately, we're bordering three major powers. So unfortunately, we we would have a, we need a strategy to actually survive, or we can exile ourselves to the handless Congolese territory. That's right. We now own a colony, and and they don't have hands. They used to have hands. We chopped them off. We chopped them off to show that our bullets actually were useful. And fun fact: because Luxembourgia is not in this uh, world, because they're just too small. I mean, they do exist. I mean, not really do exist. They exist, kind of. They're here. Like, you see that little borderline? That's Luxembourg. That little pixel there? That's Luxembourg. Well, <coughs> Luxembourg, of course, won't be in the West to East series, which are the West to East series. The nation, the, the, the series where I, where I made so I can play nations from West to East. And today's nation is Belgium, and the last nation was Ireland. Um, don't question the logic here. So, I wouldn't be playing Luxembourg in like this map, so they won't be a part of the West to East series. But, I could play Luxembourg on a European map and, pros and possibly suffer. Because they be just considering that how small Luxembourg is, it wouldn't be very fun to actually, you know, play as them. Especially if, especially if they border three major powers. That's right, I can't think Belgium was a major power. Sure, if everything goes well, I will have a big empire consisting of Spain, France, and everything between. But the problem is, uh, fire and steel tend to have its uh, very chaos. It, yes, it burns, quite literally burns in hell. But sure, Belgium may be bad for, um, you know, European nation, but our next nation is the German Reich. The, ger the, the most germiest, wormiest, germiest, termiest, germiest, termiest right, where it's fascist, racist, and also a bit uh, Naziist. Back to my point of life in Belgium is horrible. Uh, we bought a Germany, and Germany is a bit strong. I mean, not really strong if you actually manage to like hold. The problem is, I want to expand this little empire of ours called. Congo. We want to expand the French into the French land, but unfortunately, that will be a bigger border with Germany, and that means I'm pretty much screwed. I don't know why my game is slowing down so slow. My game is slowing down so slow. Look at my game. It's running. It is literally running. It's still, it's somehow still called running. What the hell is this? And oh yes, because I have uh, removed the Chinese entire front, not literally removed it. I kind of just um, only made Ch China to actually own the Chinese China front. Now China is isolated, um, the Portuguese are now in a faction with the Allies. Alright, it's time to go and have a fun in Iberia, or in other words, uh, not me doing that. Me, if I'm a scary cat, now I can't do anything by myself because I'm... Belgian. Now my question is that because I removed the Chinese United Front, how chaotic it would be? How chaotic it would be inside China? How much fire would that be in China? I'm looking at you, Mel. You, you certainly would spark some the content. So. There goes France. Oh dear, this go. This gonna go hell for me, especially because the French AI is stupid, just like any AI in this game. But um. The French AI is more stupid because they're French. And I'm right. Oh yes, I forgot to mention. I've all gone France, so don't worry. Um, if France does win this bat in, in this war, which seems very unlikely since they are literally their brains are in the gutter. Uh, I could win. I could steal all every single land they they, they both had. They both have, and then I'll, and I can watch how the how the world can burn quicker. I mean, look at China. It's going to be okay. Totally okay. I went to looking through Eastern Asia's uh, war and friendship list. As you can see, Makiko is at war with Tibet, Guangxi Click, Afghanistan, 
and Bulgaria, because why not? And then uh, we have Mankuko in a faction with Japan, Mankuko, Manchuria, Persia, Ethiopia, Turkey, and Guangxi clique. The exact same people who are there at war with. And it's time, well, and it's time to join the Allies. <sighs> um, I'm so mad though, the fact that uh, Portugal was now in Mauritania, and say, why are you in Mauritania? Okay. You, you f***ing Italians, screw you with your bloody pizza. Bloody steal of my land, this is my land, my cry. This is my land, why? Okay, no, screw it. It's time. If I don't do anything, the world will burn. Um, not literally burn, it's already burning. But I will get my land and I'll be stuck, caught. I'll be stuck fighting in the degrading the, the Belgian Empire, you know. Uh, I should probably help my British friends in the war against Italia. Just because the Italians stole my rightful land, I'm going to declare war on them. Um, I don't... Mm, I don't have uh, PP to declare war on them. And, uh, how about I just cheat them some PP? I mean, I, I totally won't cheat them some PP. A little bit of uh, no cheating later. I'm now at war with it Italia. And it's back to get the land that, right, that I rightfully own. I mean, I rightfully do own. I rightfully, I rightfully should own. I mean, that's not even an understatement. I actually should own this land. But um, now I'm reclaiming my former glory and re, re, re unleashing the power of Belgium upon the Italians. And as you can see here, the unifier of China. Siam. And though we lost the No Han Congolese territory, we did gain something very, very great in this world, in this conquest. The power of friendship. With the power of friendship, we have defeated Italia and France and Spain. And also, we also got some colonies. Uh, we did not only get the friends along the way, we also got uh, Western colonies. That's pretty nice, but apparently the Polish don't think so and they should end me. In a world where, for some reason, Mexico that uh, owns over North America, the British has been exiled to Africa and Asia and South America. <coughs> the Soviets, or in other words, the Common Turn, the, the third international communist, communist international, is now uh, leading, now has Xinjiang, Mexico, Poland, and here we are. All of this is communist, not communist, like uh, communist. Non communist. I want to call Mexico to arms and then because I wanted to send an aggression attack with them and voila. But I found out that Italy's still alive. Hello? Look. Italy's somewhere. See, Italy. Where the hell are you, Italy? Are you a part of my imagination? Yeah, hopefully not because my imagination is quite, quite, quite wild. I may or may not try to continue this video, but as as currently, it's a bit broken. Maybe too much, too much, why, too much cheats that I used, or maybe it's just a world can never never be happy with a Belgian world. Yup, the game has crashed. Uh, goodbye.